Hey, what's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. In the last video, we finally conquered the Stolen Lands, and we are currently at our victory banquet, where we've spoken to a number of different people. I don't know if we've spoken to everybody. I believe we have. But... We have saved, nevertheless, so... Connections. Shall we move on to the official proceedings? That we shall, because stuff and things. Lords and ladies, today we are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the stolen lands. Baron Hannes Dreller, the new master of Glenabar, Captain Mager Varn, the conqueror of Dunsworth. And finally, the Tamer of the Shrike Hills, who put an end to the atrocities of the Stag Lord's bandits. Step forward. On behalf of the people of the free city of Restal, I confer upon you this noble title. Rise, your grace. Cool. Wow, that ended abruptly. Why? Victory. The Stag Lord's dead, and the capital of the new barony has been built in place of his fort. That was how the long and challenging taming of the Stolen Lands began. Uh huh. Keston Garess, welcome, your grace. Keston salutes you. You can see he's a bit anxious, and it seems he'd rehearsed his speech many times. <laughs> Let me once again congratulate you on your victory, and your new title. Lady Jamandi transferred me here. I am at your disposal. I'm not one to, to bestow honors, but I want you to know I'm glad to serve you. Sure. I'm here to welcome you on behalf of your capital, new capital citizens. The Stag Lord's former stronghold will soon be a thriving city. Word travels fast, and the first settlers have already arrived, with new ones approaching as we speak. Am I peeking? I don't think I'm peeking. Wow! Oh, wow, yeah, now I'm peeking. Hold on, let me just drag that... Wait, I can just... Am I peeking? I am no longer peeking. I... Did the game just crash? Why do most games do this? This game is a fucking travesty. While you were visiting Restov, much has been done here. Your benefactors, the Aldori, invested a great deal of resources in rebuilding the city. I stand ready to answer your questions and to show you around, around the most important sites. Ugh! Where are my companions? They were all somewhere around here, but I never kept an eye on who went where exactly. Well, I assume Tristan is with Jihad, and you can always find Liz Lindsay. Just follow the noise and turmoil. Hmm. Sounds like her. Are there any citizens... something I should know about? Our old acquaintance Jihad is right here. Erastiel's clerics normally don't like cities much, but he's eager to serve you. Also, the emissary from Bavoy is here, waiting for you in the throne room. There's also this curious matter. An elf has paid us a visit. A blind elf. Desna only knows how we managed to get here. He seems a peaceful, even pleasant fellow, though, a nat though naturally a little odd. So I let him stay a while. It's up to you what to decide what to do with him now. That's about it, I guess. Keston scratches his head. What's the mood of the people here? I must admit I've never seen anything like that my whole life. A city, a whole barony, born right in front of our eyes. The people sense the moment and today we're feeling proud. As a rule, I'm not too cheerful or chatty. I'd normally feel out of place among all the rejoicing. But today is just one of those days. 
The main question is, where can I get a drink or three? It's time to toast my victory! Keston hesitates for a brief moment, then laughs. I'll make sure to show you... The moment we enter the city. The tavern was the first business that opened. Building a th city is, a th is thirsty work and, uh, um... I beg your forgiveness for my behavior during your reception. I drank a little too much. It is a day for celebration. I'm ready to look around the city! Lead the way! Follow me, your grace. Hmm. Greetings, your grace. We are, well, your new subjects. We're selecting a new- we're selecting a site to build our house. Sure. It's wet near the lake and windy up here on the hill. A fine place to throw garbage at your neighbor's heads, though. Ouch! What? It's a good thing you got rid of those monsters and bandits, your grace. Yes. Undoubtedly so. Did you recognize the- do you recognize this place, your grace? This is where the Stag Lord's fortress wall used to be. Not that it saved him in the end, huh? Wow, that man is wearing some very flamboyant colors. Our workers did a fine job turning this bandit den into the heart of the town. The heart of every town is, it, is its main square. We plan to hold street festivities and fairs here. Look, we already have our first vendor! Greetings, your grace. If you turn to the right from the square, you'll end up straight in our tavern. Perfect. He says that as if it's a bad thing. Dwarves should always drink themselves off their ass. The tavern's ale is blessed by Cade K Caden Kalin himself, I swear. And the lady who owns it is a gem. Cool. Oh, that's all nonsense. Well, except for the part about breathing fire. All barons can breathe fire, trust me. What? So are you saying that I can breathe fire now? Welcome, your grace. Glad to serve you. It'd be cool if I could breathe fire. That'd be really fucking cool. Your grace, those are our gods. They keep order in the city. Or keep their mouths busy with gossip. Fucking damn it. Spe was speaking of someone who is a commander. Here is the observation platform. I hope one day your capital will grow large enough that we won't be able to see its full extent from this perch. Oh, you can bet your ass on that. The building in front of us is your residence. That's where we'll head to now. So now we've reached the main chambers. This is the throne room where you'll hold court and receive visitors. Let me draw your attention to this large map, depicting your barony and its surroundings. We'll mark all the important scout reports and other news worthy of your grace's attention. Having finished his speech, Keston tucks his thumbs under his belt and stands quietly. You are about to make the unyielding stolen lands a prosperous kingdom. There is a long and arduous roll, uh, road ahead of you. You and your advisors are going to deal with matters of national importance, found and build up settlements, seize and develop new regions, solve pressing problems, and take advantage of good opportunities. A prosperous governor will be handsomely rewarded with support and donations from their subjects, promising alliances with other states, wealth for their treasury, and many other things. Good luck in your ruling, Baron! Greetings, Your Grace. Cassil, Lady Jamandi's ward, gives a polite bow. It was a pleasure to meet you at, Restor at the Restov reception. On behalf of your allies and benefactors, the Eldori Sword Lords, I'd like to offer, so offer you some advice. Interesting.
Uh-huh. You can solve most of your barony's problems by granting appointments to the right people. Responsible people. But certain state business will demand your personal attention, as will the visits um, especially important of- Visits of sp especially important guests. Wow. Reports of such outstanding events will be marked on your map. You can always check it while considering your plans. Huh. According to the ancient traditions of Bravoy and most of the River Kingdoms, rulers address affairs of state and receive visitors at the beginning of the mouth month. Not the beginning of the mouth. My advice to you is to maintain this tradition and regularly visit your capital when needed. The first thing you should do as a ruler is assign loyal people to all the important positions in your barony. Your clerics, Jihad and Tristian, were the first to seek an audience. I won't distract you further and I'll leave you to consider. Once again, my congratulations. May your rule be long and prosperous. Jihad Kavkin, Your Grace, allow me to congratulate you on receiving the title of Baron. I am confident that you will be able to bring order to these troubled lands. Jihad stumbles slightly. Though to be honest, this that isn't exactly what we wanted to speak to you about. Tristian and I have been talking a great deal about what happened at the Temple of the Elk. It doesn't make... It doesn't all make sense to us yet, but one thing is clear. There's a powerful curse at work. It corrupted the very essence of that sacred pa place, steeping it with putrescence. Ugh! I am disgusted with whoever could do this. Jihad exhale, exhales loudly, catching his breath. And now there is a new woe! Tristian and I believe the curse did not simply disperse of its own accord. There is a place near the capital rumored by the locals to be cursed. Tristian and I visited this, this dreadful place, and we felt the same putrescence as at the Temple of the Elk. What is this place? Where is it? There is a bald hilltop not far from here. To the north of the capital. Its crown is entirely barren of life. The locals believe that rituals glorifying the dark gods were held there back in ancient times. There is no longer any trace of such rituals, but the air around the hilltop is heavy to the point of stifling. This place is like a rotting wound, closed, but not healed. Cool. This wound will undoubtedly open again. Tristian and I felt something approaching, something ominous. The curse will soon return to plague us once more. I swear by Erastil. I will go there as soon as I am able. Uh, alright. I agree with Tristian. Blah 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 blah. The curse will grow in strength, and we predict it will reach the peak of its strength in about one month. That's when we should visit the bald hilltop and resolve this issue. For now, we can only wait and prepare. We beg your pardon, Your Grace, for intervening with you getting the grasp of your barony. I'm sure you have even more pressing matters at hand right now. What? Why did one day pass? Barony has t ten basic stats, each supervised by an advisor. They are as follows. Population, Regent, Loyalty, Counselor, mi Military, General, Economy, Treasurer, Religion, High Priest, Foreign Affairs, Grand Diplomat, Stability, Warden, Magic, Magister, Culture, Curator, and Espionage, Minister. Stats increase if your governance is successful and decrease if events don't end well or other negative factors are placed in your way. Blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so when other words, yeah, every advisor acts on their own ideology, which means harem isn't going anywhere close any of these positions. Definitely not religion, that's for damn sure. Every barony stat gains a bonus from a specific bi ability of the appointed advisor. Hmm. Okay, so... 
The name of the barony cannot be changed later in the game. So, names, names, names.